Let's program this Baofeng radio for cross-band repeat operation. Cross-band repeat operation is when we can receive at a UHF band, let's say at a high frequency band, and transmit on a different band, let's say VHF. So before we get to that, a couple notes on, on this specific radio. So I have it set up so that my top line, and I'm actually in the memory mode right now, my top line shows the frequency and my bottom line shows the name of the channel. And the reason why I choose this um, to be this way is that if my channel is the same on both lines, let's say channel 0, which has a uh, name FRS1, and channel 0 here, I can actually see the frequency uh, of this channel. So if I, say, uh, pick some other channel, say uh, 31, and I set the top line to 31, I can switch to the bottom line and set it to 31 as well. And I can actually see this is the name of the repeater, WW7PSR, and this is the frequency. And this is my receive frequency. To see what frequency I'm transmitting it, because it has this little um, plus and minus um, sign, I can actually press the star button and that will change, it will reverse this frequency and it will show this little R and now you see the frequency change. So this is actually my uh, transmit frequency. So I can go back and forth here. Okay, so now I actually see the receive and transmit frequency for this specific re uh, repeater because uh, both lines are showing exactly the same channel number. And one more thing to note, we will be setting um, the crossband repeater in um, VFO mode, but it's a good idea to be able to save that those frequencies into some channel. So you, you do want to have some kind of channel available uh, to save to. Now this radio has uh, 128 channels uh, and I do typically program the last channels to be something pretty useful. And the reason for this is that, for example, if I uh, set it to zero, um, well, actually let's set this one to zero as well. So this is FRS channel. If I turn the radio on and uh, it doesn't have any batteries or anything, uh, by pressing these buttons up and down, I can actually go and it flip uh, all the way to the bottom. So it will actually go to channel like uh, 127, I think. So let's try it. So I have 127 and 126 uh, programmed as weather station. So it's actually very easy to switch to them. Uh, so uh, the channel I will be programming will not be 127, but it's kind of like somewhere in between. So let's uh, say we want to program these two frequencies. So I want to receive at 440.15 megahertz and transmit at uh, 147.16. So since we will be programming these two frequencies, I will have to enter some offset. So I need to just uh, subtract these two numbers and um, this is the difference. And the channel of the programming is uh, 117. So let's uh, see what actually needs to happen. So first we enter VFO mode. So when we get here, there are again two lines uh, for two frequencies and the top frequency is the one that we will be programming. So that, that's the one that we can actually uh, enter and save as a channel. So we switch um, our selection with AB button to the top. So make sure that um, the top, uh, that little uh, arrow points to the top. Okay, so now we press the menu and we want to disable uh, dual receive. So now this is actually yes. So this is, um, uh, menu item 7, you can press 7 directly here and press menu again. We want to make sure that TDR is off. So um, press uh, either up or down button and menu back again. So we changed it to off. So that will prevent um, uh, receiving on both um, monitoring two, uh, two lines. So the next thing is we want to enter the frequency. So our frequency is here, 440.15. So we just enter 
40, 15, and we need one more, so we'll type in zero. So this is our receive frequency, we programmed it. Now, on to transmit. So we go back to the menu, and we need to find offset. Let's go somewhere, oops, the wrong way. We go somewhere, somewhere. It will have like these big numbers. Oh, here it is, offset. Menu item 26. So now it shows zero, so we receive and transmit at the same frequency. So now we want to enter this 290-299. Okay, so it times out. Press menu again, 292.99 and zero again. So now press menu again, so it saves it. Uh, so now we program the offset. Now we need to tell it whether it is a positive or a negative offset. So for that, we go, oops, uh, time it out again. Uh, we go and we find this one is shift. Okay, so now it says to off. So uh, there is no offset until we actually set it. So now we need to make sure that since we receive at 440, our offset is negative. We need to subtract this number uh, to get this one. So we go back, uh, press menu, and we type in a minus. So the settings are off, minus, or plus. So we set it to minus. Exit. Uh, so we actually type offset. Now uh, we want to, I want Actually, let's go back. Let's exit this menu. So now we see the top line shows 440.15, shows a little minus sign. This is the offset. And uh, to see what uh, the other frequency is, my transmit frequency, I can press the star scan button here. And here it is. It's 147.16 and I press star and it is 140.15. So it is actually operational as is to receive and transmit crossband. Now we do want to save it as a channel. So let's go back to the menu and uh, find, first I need to actually delete something that exists in this channel, 117. So we find uh, the delete, uh, oops, actually, uh, let me make sure I got it right. 140, still good, still good. Okay, I didn't break it. Go back to the menu and I need to find delete, delete channel. So here I go to the menu and I type 117. The menu, so my channel is deleted. So then I go to previous menu, so 27. So it is flashing here, 27. And I type in the channel number at which I want to save this channel. It will be also uh, 117, press menu and this frequency is saved as channel 117. So now I exit, I'm still in my VFO mode, and if I switch to memory, well, it actually defaults to 117, but let's see if I change it to zero, okay? And now type in 117, that's my channel that I just created. It shows me 440.15, that's my receive frequency, and if I press star, it shows me my transmit frequency, which is 147.16. And that's how we programmed um, Balfang Radio for crossband repeat operation, and we saved our setting into the memory of a specific channel.